Hey guys, Saucer here once again, and it's that time of the year where Blizzard holds their convention called BlizzCon, and they've announced a lot of new information about their games, and I'll be doing a bunch of videos recapping most of it. So this first video, if you can't already tell, is about the new models that they have updated for the World of Warcraft expansion, Warlords of Draenor. So a bit of information that they have released about them so far is as follows. Currently, the Dwarf Male has 1,160 polygons, and that's a mirrored on both sides of his face. The newer models will have 7,821 polygons and a higher texture resolution, so that's quite a big upgrade for them. And the faces no longer need to be symmetrical on any model anymore. So the gnomes went from 956 polygons to 5,408. They went from 130 bones in their face to 196, as well as uh, the texture resolutions were upgraded for them as well. Anywhere between 2 and 5 times higher depending on the area of the body you're looking at of the gnome. Currently the Dwarf Female, the Tauren Male, and the Female Troll models are being worked on. There are a few pictures during this video of uh, you'll be able to see them, minus the Troll Female. There, nothing has been posted about that so far. They will be redoing all of the original races, the Draenei and the Blood Elves as well. We'll be getting new models for the expansion. However, for the Worgans and the Goblins, they've decided not to make any changes to them right away. The team stated that they will be looking at those models once every other model has been completed. Facial hair is now going to be more animated and using a bone system, as well as capes will be animated and flow naturally with the character, and as well as the gnome pigtails. And I'm sure they'll be doing a lot more animated stuff with all the characters' hair, etc., just to keep things flowing nicely. And I don't know about you guys, but I think what they've shown of the undead male so far is pretty awesome. By far the best, in my opinion, with the orc male coming in second. Really can't wait to see what they've done with the other races as well. One thing that I really hope that they implement, though, with the expansion, since they're changing all these models, is the option to race change your character or appearance without it costing you anything, because currently at this point in time it's a paid service. And I'm sure a lot of people are not going to be happy with some of the changes, even though it's probably for the best. People will always find something to complain about. Honestly, I wouldn't mind switching a few of my characters over to the Undead Male now that I've seen what they have done. Anyways guys, let me know what you think of the new models below in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and toss this video a like. Also, check out my other video content.